sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. Go ahead. For I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. They helped forward our affliction. Right. Not only did, not only did they come in and take and rob us of our land, not only did they bring us in, the, uh, the so-called Negro, and force us to work for free, yeah. and strip us of all of our resources, strip us of our nationality, strip us of our language, that goddamn devil that just walked by right now. Yeah. Not only did they do that, they furthered the affliction, created a system the way they said, I'm gonna let you off of the plantation, now you gotta go fend for yourself. Right. And suffer white supremacy. Right. And suffer and suffer not being able to have a job to provide for yourself. And guess what? If you didn't have a job be able to provide for yourself, I'm then gonna put a, a, a legislation into the book where now you are going to be incarcerated for not having a job or not having a place to stay and it's called what? Loitering. They were putting people in jail for loitering. Right. <laughs> They're still pushing that. They're still and they still, still pushing it. And you telling me the, the white man ain't the goddamn devil the Bible speaks about? Bring it out. Come on. Come on. They back each other up. You telling me to, you, you you telling me you ain't a devil for that? I'm very interested in what you're saying. Of course you're interested in what I'm saying. Devil, but guess what? Listen, else. listen, listen, if you, if you agree with me, if you agree with me, what are you gonna do about it then? I'm listening right now. Do you understand that you're walking up and down uh, 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 downtown on Fourth Avenue on stolen ground? I do. I'd like to, so so I'd why like do you continue to do it? I'd like to hear suggestions on what I should do. Don't worry about it. Give me uh, what is it, Isaiah 49:23. Bring it up. Give me Isaiah 49:23. I'm a, I'm a. You are you a man of justice? That's you right. believe in justice? Yes. What about you? You believe in justice? You think so? We about to see right now if you guys are truly a man of justice. Bring it up. Hold that, hold that. Give me Revelation 13 and 9, okay? And then give me Isaiah 14 and 21. Where you at? Isaiah 14, you hold that, hold that, hold that. I need Revelation 13, 9. Let's see if you a man of justice for real. Both of you guys. Revelation 13 and 9. Go ahead. If any man have an ear. If any man has an ear, do what? Let him hear. Let him hear, go ahead. He. That leadeth into captivity. Is it true that the so-called white man led the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity? Very true. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. You know what justice is? It means you need to go into captivity. That's justice. That's right. All right. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword. Is it not documented? When the, when the so-called white man came over to this part of the land, that he slayed 77 million Native American Indians, that he slayed 23 Hispanic Indians, all right? And that he also slayed 100 million Negroes just on the way over here. Not talking about the senseless beatings, the senseless lynchings, the senseless uh, 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 shootings in the streets from the time that uh, uh, they, they, they let us off of the boat till now and today's time where they still killing us. We're talking about 200 million people. Gone that they kill. So it says, he that killed with the sword, what? Must be killed with the sword. Justice is that you are going to be killed with the sword. Let's finish with the scripture say, go ahead. Here is the patience. The patience and what? And the faith. And the faith of who? Of the saints. Of the saints of God. Right. Of patiently and That's patiently right. waiting for the captivity, for their captives to be taken in captivity, and for those that have killed them with the sword, to be killed with the sword. How do you feel about that? That's a, that's a suggestion. You say, I'd like to hear a suggestion. I gave you one. I, How do you feel about that? I've never killed anyone, so I don't know oh, why I should be well. Well. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you said it. I'm glad you said it. Bring All it praises out. to the Most High God. Right. Bring it out. This is Isaiah 14 and 21. Go ahead. Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Slaughter. Slaughter. I hope that these gentlemen here uh, have a clear understanding of what slaughter is, right? Prepare slaughter for what? For. His children! For his what? His children! For what? For the iniquity! For the iniquity of who? Of their fathers! Are you a byproduct of the people that came over here and rape, robbed, and murdered the My blacks by Native American Indians? Czechoslovakia and Norway when Say it all this again? Happened. My family was in Czechoslovakia and Norway when all this listen, happened. Listen, listen, listen. They always want to sit up here and say, listen. They always want to separate themselves oh, from the rest of the world. Yeah, I know oh, the, I already knew it. Listen, I already knew the brothers were coming. I just oh, wanted to God. say. Oh, I just wanted to say. <laughs> I just wanted to say. Every single time it comes down to it, they say, well, you know what? I was actually right here. Do you come over here, real quick, do you come over here and do you benefit from what others of your same uh, uh, race 
have done in this place. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got to say. Bring it out. Right? Are you employed? Sorry? Are you employed? Yes. Who, who's your employer? Uh, freelance musician, so a lot of people. Okay, freelance musician. All right. So, here's my question, right? So you say you're Czech? Are you Czechoslovakian? Are you Czech or are you Slovakian? Um, Prague. I, can't, I don't know which side that is. I think that's Czech. That's Czech. All right. And then you say you're Norwegian, right? Your, who is your father? Czech. Czecho Slovakia. All that's very interesting. Who are the original people of Czechoslovakia? I honestly don't know. You honestly don't know. Let me tell you, sir, they weren't white people. That's right! That makes sense. So if I go to Czechoslovakia and all I see is a predominant of white people, what does that mean happened to the original people of Czechoslovakia? That means that white people had to come and conquest in the same way they did to anywhere else where they're the majority. They conquested the area. You see what I'm saying? So you can't get off the hook. Just because your family may not have done that wickedness here in the Americas, they did it somewhere. White people across the board in general are guilty of conquest and of genocide the world over. That's right. right? So go ahead. I just want to make sure we make that point. Hey, listen, man, I'll break it. Hey, get, get, a, get a chief of powerful hand. I'm just trying to eat. Hey, he's just trying to, he's just trying to you know, nourish himself, right? God, As God. we nourish a brother spiritually. Now, here's the thing. He tried to get away from it. I appreciate your silence. He's like, look, I'm not even finna sit up here and put myself into a conundrum that I already put myself into. And he keeps getting into it. I, I didn't do anything. Prepare starters for his children for the iniquity of your father. Well, I'm from nowhere and check. Checkmate. Start that again from the top, finish that. We got a couple more scriptures for y'all. Go ahead. Bring it up. Bring it up. Isaiah 14 and 21. Go ahead. Prepare slaughter yeah. for his children. Prepare slaughter for the children. For what? For the iniquity of their fathers. That your forefathers still fall into. Go ahead. That they do not rise. That they do not rise, nor what? Nor possess the land. Nor possess the land, which is what? Dealing with the, the kingdom, all right? In the land of Israel or the holy land, the righteous land, which when you read in the earlier, in the, in the top of the, uh, the, the, the chapter, Isaiah 14, it speaks the same thing we read in Revelation 14, the 13th chapter. How we're going to take our captives, our captors, into captivity because we were in captive to them. Go ahead. Nor feel the face of the world with cities. You're not going to feel the face of the world with cities, meaning you're not even going to have your own inhabitation or, or, or inhabitants once everybody is distributed their own lot. You're going to be exterminated off the planet Earth. That's right. All right. Uh, what you got? Get that in the. I got numbers. Uh, numbers. Get Sorry. that in numbers. That's two suggestions. This is numbers. Real quick. Take you into captivity because you took people into captivity. Kill you with the sword because you kill people with the sword. Right. And we also want to kill the children for the iniquity of the fathers. Right. Go ahead. This is Numbers 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land where you are. God commanded us, don't pollute the land. Let's see how the land is polluted. Go ahead. For blood, it defileth the land. Don't pollute the land. Blood is what defiles this land. Read. And the land did not be cleansed of the blood that shed therein. Now if this land does be polluted with the blood, it can't be cleansed except what? But, by the blood of, of him that shed it. That's right. Oh. Of him that shed it. So according to the word of God, if I was to go off of your logic, this land would never be able to be cleansed. So what, is, what do we do? We go to Isaiah, the, prop, the powerful prophet of God that says prepare slaughter for the children. For the iniquity of the father. Right. Hey, All right. Like That's that. What happened? Sorry, so like, like that one chick uh, said last time, forgiveness and education. This brother has been watching me. God. Yeah. All right. Great. This is the type of stuff that they. This is the type of suggestions that your people give us. Oh, I just want to take forgiveness and education. Right. Now let's Thank see. You, oh, where are you going? I, I thought go you work. was a man of justice. I gotta go to work. Right? Don't no worry, but I'm about to see real guys. quick if you a man of justice. Give me, give me, give me. I got one more for you. Give me Isaiah 49, 23. Let's see if you a man of justice. Let me see if you a man of justice, because you've been quiet. Go ahead. There's Isaiah 49 and 23. Go ahead. And kings shall be their nursing fathers. So when the recompense comes upon your people and your nation and its mirth is being brought low, your kings is going to be our nursing fathers. Go ahead. And the queens, thy nursing mothers. And the queens of these places is going to be our nursing mothers. That's the captivity. 
that, that we're going to put you in. Go ahead. And they shall bow down to thee. They are going to bow down to us. This is a suggestion that we give you. So if you really feel like you're a man of justice, you will bow before the men that your forefathers have raped, robbed, and murdered. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. With their face toward the earth. With your face on the earth and look at the devil walk away. Go ahead. With your face on the earth, you're going to bow down. Go ahead. And lick up the dust of thy feet. And you are going to lick the dust off of the boots of the men that stand before you. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And you're going to know who the Lord God of Israel is. So if you're really a man of justice, bow down your face to the earth and lick the dust off of our boots. That's right. Hell yeah. Right. Bow down yourself to the earth and lick the dust off of the boot. Bow down and lick the dust off of the boot. Get your ass Bow down and lick the dust off the white man not only did that to this place on this continent he has done that throughout the entire planet earth Sorry. and every nation that he's ever came up against bring it up go ahead it's proverbs 28 and 1 the wicked flee when no man pursues the scripture said that wicked flee when no man pursue i asked him was he a man of justice he tried he decided to take himself up the block Bro. go ahead but the righteous are bold as a lion. It says, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. That's right. We're going to stand here in the face of our oppressors and declare his wickedness and declare the righteousness of the black Hispanic and Native Americans, the liberation of the black Hispanic and Native Americans, and the salvation right. that the most high is going to bring That's, right. That's, right. That's, That's what we are here to do. What you got? Give me that in, uh, in Obadiah, what you had. What you got? No, nah, that's it. No, we, we don't need that. And, and after that, you get Ephesians and, and, and we can go. Go ahead. It's Obadiah, 1 and 15. Go ahead. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. The day of the Lord is near upon the heathen. That's when the right. Lord is going to take them off of the pedestal and the high horse that they've been on, and he's going to put them back on the ground, and they're going to walk as servants. And what is he going to do? He's going to turn around and put the prophets and the men of the Most High God back on the horses as the kings and the princes that they are. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. As thou hast done, it shall be done upon thee. As you have done, it's going to be done upon you. Go ahead. Thy reward shall return. Upon thy own head! It's gonna return upon your own head. That's right. As, as you shooting at somebody that ricochets and hits you right back. Go ahead. Go back to uh, get that in uh, uh, um, in Ephesians. And see, here's the thing. We gotta understand that we the gods on the earth. Ephesians 2. We the gods on the earth, man. We the people that make the world go round. The world was made for our sakes according to the book of 2nd Ezra 6 chapter. That's right. We gotta understand that. Give me 2nd Ezra 6 and 8. Then we gotta understand that. And when we follow after the people who are the sick, the generous in the earth, we make ourselves uncircumcised. According to the book of 1st Maccabees, the first chapter and 11 verse. Go ahead, bring that out, Ephesians 2 and 11. It's Ephesians 2 and 11. Wherefore, remember. Wherefore, remember. Yeah, brother, this is for you, man. You got to understand and remember this. You are a Hebrew Israelite of the, uh, what's your nationality, real quick? Nationality. American. You just black, right? Black, black American? The original American. The yeah, original American, original black, right? Yeah. You are more than likely, you are Israelite more than likely from the tribe of Judah. That's right. So you got to understand this according to the scriptures of what it's about to speak about. All right? Because you coming up here and you and, and you seeing and you hearing what we're talking about. And we're trying to build our people back up, right? Bring it out. Back at the top. Wherefore, remember. You got to remember. Read. That he being in time past Gentiles we, in the flesh. We were Gentiles. We made ourselves uncircumcised. We went after the ways of the heathen. That's why in time past we were Gentiles. But now when we reveal who we are through the spirit and power of God coming out of the scriptures, when we tell you who you are, you come out of that heathenistic way and you come back into the ways of God. That's, right, That's what we are here to tell our people. That's right. You're already in the right spirit. You got your beard going, huh? Right. You're already in the spirit. Huh? You got your beard going, man. That's the spirit that resonates within you. Now we got to take it to the next level and we got to start to bring others in as well. You got to join the flock, join the fold. We building an army of the Most High God. That's right. Drop whatever I had you get. Give me uh, uh, Ezekiel 37. Go ahead. 
who are called uncum uncircumcision. We, listen, remember, ye are in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision. Who are you called uncircumcision by? Go ahead. By that which is called the circumcision. By that which is called the circumcision. The people that was still following within the ways of God, they started to look down on brother. That's like me looking down on you right now. I'm out here trying to teach my people who I am, who I am and I thought I want to look down on somebody. I can't look down on them because I once was in your position I, and I don't want nobody looking down on me. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's right. But guess what? Our people, the way we look, we start getting cool. We start thinking we all high and mighty. We start turning our nose up at our people the same way the white men turn their nose up at us. That's we right. can't do that. Right. So we was calling us our own people uncircumcision. Go ahead. It's, which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Go ahead. That at that time, you were without Christ. Being at that time, you were without Christ. And it doesn't mean like, oh, I've accepted Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I'm talking about understanding who Christ is, believing on him as the scripture has said. Sure. That's what the scripture said we have to do. Right. Not believe it, he's a, not to believe he's a goddamn degenerate looking like, looking like that. This is what our people follow after. I'm not saying it's you, but as a whole, this is what people follow after. We got to come out of that. Go ahead. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Do you ever, you ever knew or understand or heard that you was an Israelite? Yeah. You heard that before? Yeah. So what happened with you coming back into the commonwealth of Israel? I never, it was you two. It was you two. Yeah, was so true. now that you have seen the prophets and the men in the flesh, yeah. hey, we out here. You live in San Diego? Yeah. We out here, Ak. That's right. We out here, Ak. Right. Come on. Right. 